Hi guys. <laughs> Shut up. What's up guys and happy Saturday. So I have not filmed a clip for my Yippee Move With Me series in a while. So I don't even remember the last time I checked in with you guys, but let's have a refresher. Please excuse my horrid appearance, but we just got our lumber. I'm so excited. I had no idea what was delivered. There, I had a call on Friday, which was kind of annoying because I was going to brunch and then all of a sudden I get a call that like I had a delivery that I needed a signature for and they wouldn't bring it up to me and I was very confused because I thought it was just clothing that I had to get delivered. I was like, why can't they just bring it up like everyone else does? But I just got a call today that said it was my lumber. So that makes sense as to why I had to be here, I suppose, for all this wood. So if you guys remember, I got a bunch of wood for our installation that's gonna be on our wall in our bedroom. It's like our accent wall. I'm pretty pumped about it. So I get to go tell my designer now that the wood has gotten here so then she can schedule a time to install it. Are you pumped? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks so good. Now I just gotta find a place for all of this lumber for the time being. I also got a call this morning from CB2 saying that our dresser is going to be delivered. So excited to finally have a dresser because right now my clothes are just kind of everywhere in my room. It's gonna be so convenient because I haven't had a dresser in so long and I'm just so excited to get these clothes out of my closet and into its proper space. Yay! Okay, yeah, that, that's, that's been a while. <laughs> Mainly because I just haven't really made any progress because I've been really busy doing other things. So it's time to put more focus into our apartment and finishing it because we just need to get it done and stop drinking it out. So today I am so incredibly excited because Kate from the Salvage Dior is coming over and she is installing the wood installation on my wall. I talked to you guys about this a while ago. I can't even remember when I last told you guys about it, but I had to refresh you guys because she is amazing. She's a really good decorator and she does it on a budget, which is amazing because that's what I'm all about. I love making a space look really great, totally put together, but without spending a ton, a ton of money, which it can easily do when you're decorating a space, especially a full apartment or a full home. I can't even imagine decorating full home. The thought alone stresses me out. So needless to say, I needed some help and I'm so glad I found Kate because she just knows what she's doing. She does this for a living. She's gonna be decorating my office space, but not today because today she is actually installing the wood wall in my bedroom. So I'm just gonna show you guys what she's gonna be doing. Okay, so this is our bedroom cleared out a little bit just so that Kate can easily get in here and not have things in the way. So we moved our bed just to the side over here and our rug over here. So this is the wall that she is going to be doing the installation on. Our white headboard is against the middle of this wall and then our two nightstands are on either side of the bed. So the installation she's going to be doing is not going to take up the entire wall, but just kind of like a big headboard almost, but you know, covering the sides where the nightstands are as well, if that makes any sense. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me in this whole process so you guys will see how it is done. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I found her originally from Instagram many, many months ago, and I started following her and her work, and I just absolutely loved her wood installations. I was like, oh my gosh, is she actually doing these, or are they all in just people's homes? So I started messaging her, and she was telling me how she makes these, and I was so jealous because I love loved them so much and I was like, how can I get these in my home, especially in a rental home? But she reassured me that it's totally okay and safe to do these in rental homes. They make very, very tiny incisions into the wall. And of course, when the time comes that I do move out, I can easily just plaster the wall or whatever they do to fill up the hole. So this is the wood that we're using and this was supplied by Weber Lumber and I will link all of their information in the description box below. They were so kind enough to work with me and Kate on this project and send me this wood for this installation and I could not thank them enough because look at all of this goodness and I cannot wait to show you guys what it looks like out of the boxes but I had to show you guys what this looks like in case you guys are going into the store and actually looking for the physical box. Okay guys so Kate is here and she is just laying out the wood first to see how it's going to look which is amazing because I'm such a visual person as well so it's kind of hard to get a feel for what it's actually going to look like and if you need to make any last minute changes to the original plan which we ended up doing. I 
had originally thought that it was going to look like kind of a bigger headboard, but once we started laying it out, we realized that it would look really good if we brought it all the way up to the wall, and that was totally Kate's suggestion, which I trust her so much because she knows what she's doing and she's done this so many times. We're bringing it up all the way to the ceiling, so it's gonna be this big, dramatic piece. It's gonna look so, so cool. So right now, she is just laying out the wood to see which color she wants to put where because the Weber Lumber comes in different colors, which is great, so you can really customize it and make it look exactly how you want. We're going for the darker tones in the bedroom, the really dark pieces, and the kind of grayish, ashy tones, which looks so gorgeous. Alex also is being put to work picking out the right color panels in the boxes. As you can see behind me, we have the lighter pieces from the boxes that we're not using in the bedroom, and she had the idea of possibly putting them on this accent wall in my office room because this is the wall that you guys are going to see when I film. I just haven't done anything with it because I didn't know what to put there, so she was like, hey, we can use the extra wood because we're not using any of the like pieces in the bedroom. Make our own little statement wall in the office, so that would be really cool as well. So I think we may possibly do that today. I love the tones of this because it's almost a little ashy just like the floors in here are naturally, so I feel like it would just look really good and it's gonna be lighter, which is great for the office room because I don't want it to be too dark where I'm filming. I think that would look awesome. wall is already almost done which is crazy this is going by so much quicker than I thought like I didn't know how long of a process this would take because I've never seen anyone actually doing it real time for me if I was doing it like girl, I would take like three days I'd probably take like three days honestly let's 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 be honest I have no building skills whatsoever with this wood it mimics reclaimed wood which isn't always the same it's gonna be different lengths different colors some of it may curve so what they're doing is when they're putting it up it's kind of like a guide and then if some pieces just aren't fitting correctly, if there's a gap or anything, then they take it out and kind of work with it to make it fit. So it's kind of like a puzzle, which is crazy because again, I'm really bad at like spatial things and putting things together. It's just not my strong suit. So thank God some people are great at it. But yeah, it's looking amazing and I'm so, so excited. It just immediately changes the mood and the vibe in there and is just going exactly how I envisioned it, but 10 times better. So I think once this is up, then we'll be able to go get new sheets, new bedspread, definitely pillows in there is gonna be a huge thing to really spice it up and decorate it. Also, my dresser was supposed to be delivered last Saturday, but the Friday before they had called me saying the dresser wasn't gonna be delivered in time because it hadn't even gotten to the warehouse or something like that. So I'm gonna call them today and see if, the, if they have like an ETA on that because I would love my dresser because the TV is just on the ground still. So I just wanna like get moving on my room. What's up guys? So it is Thursday morning and my dresser is finally going to be delivered today. So that was really annoying because I've already waited like a month, a month and a half for that dresser. I was supposed to get a call from customer service after that to reschedule, but they never called. So I called customer service like a week later and then we scheduled it. And this was the earliest day that they could install it and bring it in. So that's what I did. So the dresser is going to be delivered sometime between 8 45 and 10 45 this morning luckily i will be around obviously i'm just going to finish today's video that i have to put up and finish a blog post that's going to go up tomorrow gonna see how much will fit in my dresser and then make moves if i need to get other storage system in my actual closet or if that will be good so we shall see but i'm excited to finally get some clothes out of my closet. Woohoo! Okay, it is 9.30 and I just got a call that they are here, so I'm gonna go down and get them so that's just easier. It's from CB2, by the way. I don't know if I said that earlier, but great home delivery service. Okay, well that was super quick, probably 30 seconds to bring it in here because it didn't really need any installing, so that was super nice. So here's what it looks like. Here is our cute little baby. It's actually pretty long, which is good because we had some space to fill and we have a lot of stuff. So it's kind of like this 
grayish green color if any of you guys are wondering or thinking about getting a dresser like this this is pretty true to color right here but it's really really cool and now we have a place for our TV hallelujah it doesn't have to be on the ground anymore our room is coming together guys we both get two drawers I need to decide like what is most important for me to put in here versus like getting a storage thing in my closet exciting Thursday so this is the little storage thing that I've just had in my closet because this is actually what I used as a dresser in my old apartment because I had no room for an actual dresser so this was just my makeshift little dresser where I kept my bra and underwear and my swimsuits and my t-shirts and things that I didn't hang up so this has become super super stuffed and it's just so not practical anymore because I just have way too much stuff for this little thing so I want to get like my bralettes and everything over into the dresser I think just because I have so many of those it's really hard to like open these up because it's so stuffed so I might move that over and maybe some swimsuits I don't know I feel like I could also get a storage bin above my closet like up here I think this is so messy you guys but I think I could also get like a little storage bin basket kind of thing to put up there for my swimsuits maybe that'll be easier but I think a trip to the container store today is an essential definitely need a new shelf for my shoes over here they are all just cluttered everywhere and they actually also have this one in a smaller version that's more vertical so it's just higher so i think i'm gonna get another one of these to stack on top of this one and then a vertical one right here for any extra shoes just because i don't think i can really stack a third one up here with this thing in the way that'll at least help a little bit and then i can also use the other section for purses if there is extra room this is what the closet's looking like so far. It is kind of a mess. I have like all Poshmark stuff right here and then also above on the shelf. So I need to put those up on there. And I also need to figure out what to do with my sweatshirts. So many issues.